Hi, today I'm going to be walking you through a quick networking demo with Logstep.io. We're going to start off by creating a new folder for our project. I'm going to call it Network Demo. We're going to open that up. I'm also going to open a shell. I'm using Git shell here that's available through the GitHub app for Windows for free. I'm going to navigate to the same directory that I've just created on my desktop. And I'm going to start a new project using npm init. I don't need to change any of the defaults. They should be just fine for development purposes. Next, I'm going to install Lockstep.io using npm. This should take a few minutes to install because it will be downloading Socket.io as well, which is a lar rather large dependency that needs to be built from source. Once that's done, we can start by running the included server for development. And the console will confirm that the server is running, and we have a local port available on port 80. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a Unity project. We're going to create a new 2D game. And we're going to put it right inside the same folder as our Node.js project. We can see that a game with no nothing added to it doesn't really give us much to work with. So we're going to go ahead, back to our directory folder, and open up the node modules that were downloaded by NPM. We're going to open Lockstep.io, and we're going to find a Unity folder. Inside that Unity folder are the dependencies required for Unity, and we're going to go ahead and drag them right into the project. Once that's imported, I'm going to drag a lockstep IO component right onto the main camera just because we have nothing else in our scene right now. And if I take a look at the main camera, I can see that it's actually added a socket IO component and a lockstep IO component for me, which are both set up to connect locally to the development server. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And almost immediately, I can see that Socket.io and Lockstep.io both become available and connected and synchronized, with the Lockstep Ready flag checked. I can see on the server that the packets are indeed going back and forth. So let's go ahead and add a sprite to this project to give us something to look at. Now that we've got our sprite, I'll call it Test Object. And we'll go back to the camera script and modify the lockstep.io component to send a basic left-right arrow key command and an up-down arrow key command as well. The commands get issued across the network and come back in the execute command function where they take effect on the game itself. So we'll go ahead and affect the rigid body of our sprite. And it looks like it worked. So let's go ahead and try to make a build. I'm going to add the current scene, save it first, debug scene. And before I can do anything, I have to open up the player settings. And underneath resolutions and presentation, I want to check run in background. That'll make sure the networking keeps working even though the window is not open. 
I'm also going to check visible in background. This is really helpful for debugging and can help you see what's going on even when your window is not open. Note that for single instance isn't checked. That'll make debugging very hard as we'll only be able to open one game. I'm going to go ahead and build. And let's open a few games to give this a test. We'll be sending commands through one game and hopefully we'll see them happen on all the other games. And it looked like it worked. So this is just a really early sample of what we're working on with Lockstep.io, but we're really hoping to make it so easy to use that you don't even really have to write a lot of code to get this working. It should be plug and play by the time it's released to the public and production ready. But for now, for those who are interested, they can go ahead and get it from NPM and play around with the source code. Everything is free to use and we welcome pull requests to the repository. Thanks guys.